Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the RTX 4090 and see how it does with a packaged matrix sample demo. Now, you can easily replicate this benchmark by just downloading a matrix sample demo. If you want this one that I did, it's about 17 to 18 gigs. Just let me know in the comments below. I'll upload it so you can play around with it as well. Uh, so here we are in the matrix demo sample i didn't change any settings at all in new engine 5 none of that is standard just package the big level gameplay demo and again i keep saying this over and over and over again in my rtx 4090 videos the 50 frames per second right now this is similar to the frames per second i'm getting with my 3090 but in 1920 by 1080 resolution but this right here is 4k i'll go ahead and dismiss the controls so wow this is definitely playable at this point right here and i know some of y'all are saying you know cyberpunk looks better well obviously they spent a lot more time making that than they made this i think they made this like in a year or something but um yeah this is it 47 frames per second it's not even using the full gpu and it's probably because my cpu is quite dated uh, it's 10 series, 10 900K. I know the 13900K just came out, uh, but eventually, hopefully, once I get some money, I might upgrade my CPU as well, and then we can really have some fun. Um, I'm kind of debating though, because I don't know if I should get a Ryzen or um, just get that Intel, like a Threadripper or something. But yeah, this looks good. It's definitely a lot more crisper than my 1080 when the unreal engine 5 matrix demo first came out in april i can definitely tell that you know it is higher resolution and i'm hoping you can too and this definitely looks better than the console version i'll tell you that right now this looks incredible really cool 40 frames per second i'm gonna hop in the car real quick and drive around and then i'll change some settings around so um, you can kind of gauge. Okay, I think there's a car here that I like. Let's go ahead and hop in this car, and I'll grab my control real quick. So I'm a, I'm a better driver with a controller. Now, if y'all remember, six months ago, under here, my 3090 would kind of glitch out a little bit. But as you can see, this looks amazing. 50 frames per second. I'm pretty much going the same route I did as that video, so... Shoot. Same crashes, too. I think I hit that same branch. But yeah, this is incredible, y'all. So far playing video games RTX 4090 it has been it's been worth it even in Nvidia I'm not omniverse I just tested it out in Unreal Engine 5 the 200 to 300 dollar price increase from the MSRP of the 3090 is so worth it honestly if they would have charged 2400 dollars for this card it would have been still worth it because again the performance is almost double. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't have been able to buy it if it was 2400, but still. For y'all out there who are balling. Yeah, I'm going the same route as I did back then, so you can really see it. I don't know what that was about, but there was something that hit me. An invisible something that hit me there. Oh, watch out for people crossing. I hit that one. Yeah, this is a lot smoother. Okay, my car is kind of moving to the right now, so let me go get a new one. And what I'll do is I'll increase, I'll increase the traffic real quick. We can change that setting. So if I press O here, and once she gets in, let's change that traffic to 
turn the crowd up. We're gonna cr crank some settings. And turn on the park cars. And additionally, for the nanite view, I'm gonna send it to primitives. So you can see that's... I don't know, it just looks a lot better in my opinion. Wow. Wow. I already jacked up my car. I just got out of the parking lot. There's a lot more traffic. Excuse me. Just like Las Vegas. Wait a minute. I just want to make sure I turn the traffic on. Yeah? Okay. I just want to make sure because I don't see a lot. Alright, we're at 56 frames per second with traffic. And pedestrians turn all the way up. It's motorcycle coming. There we go. 51. And yeah, this is not even using my full GPU. At all. Woo, definitely don't want to hit a cop. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's running really smooth, y'all. I know some of y'all are wondering about this performance right here. But so far, so good. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and pick up another one. Yeah, this is playable at 4K now, y'all. Let me get in the car, and what I'll do is I'll switch this to night mode so you can see that as well. Because, yeah, this is definitely playable, and I can't wait, you know, two years from now, you know, what is it, what's, what's gonna happen then? This is definitely gonna be playable at, like, 80 frames per second. It's gonna be beautiful. Full traffic. Trying to get in a highway. I think it's over here. Oh, no. I think I missed it. Hang on. I'm back up. Excuse me. Come on, where's the highway entrance? I want to go to the super highway. Yo, this this map is crowded. Park cars, crowd, and V traffic. Shoot. And it's doing pretty darn good. Nanite lumen. Here it is. Ah. Stop signs glitching out. So let's go to the highway and see how many frames per second we get up here. Oh yeah, there's a lot more traffic here. Wow, look at that. That is definitely simulating Las Vegas right here. Or Los Angeles. Excuse me. I gotta go home. I gotta make Unreal Engine 5 and Omniverse videos. Ah! Use your blinkers! Gosh! People don't even use your blinkers anymore. What's wrong with you people? Dude, I can I can drive in this city all friggin' day. Um, but I will say, yeah, yeah, I mean Cyberpunk looks a lot better. I can tell you that right now. But then again, like I said, they spent a lot more time making that game than they made this demo for sure. Money as well. I can only imagine. <laughs> I'm sorry, yo. I don't really drive like this in real life. I drive a Prius, okay? This is the only time I can drive like a maniac in video games, so forgive me, okay? I barely go two over when I'm driving my Prius. 
Alright, so let me go ahead and clear this road out. So you can kind of see what that looks like. Turn all the traffic off. And um, see what kind of performance we get. My car is like wanting to go to the right. It needs an alignment. Drift. Look at that. It's drifting by itself. I'm not even pressing any buttons. Oh, broke the sound there. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Curious to see if how it, how it would do with DLSS though, you know. I'm gonna try maybe package one with DLSS, but I haven't had any luck with doing that to be honest. I don't want to hit another pole. Yep, there's another one right there. It's like those corner corners have some overlapping collisions or something. But that's pretty much it. What do y'all think? about the RTX 490 in the Matrix demo packaged up. I think this is definitely a lot better than, you know, like a 3090 or so. And I think my car's dead. All right, yeah, so my car died. This is the perfect way to stop. Pretty awesome. Wish I can jump. Everybody's kind of like, uh, what are we waiting on? There are no cars, there's no traffic. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.